Reporters say they've been ordered to get back. There are rumours floating around the campus that this rescue could even be happening as soon as today. The relatives can only watch and wait anxiously. Final rescue. Thai medical teams are running rescue drills, practicing carrying. I got the Thai medical people overnight to prepare all the drugs into pre-filled syringes. I had to basically teach the rest of the divers how to top up the child with another injection. The boys were going to be sedated in the final chamber, but it would take more than two hours to dive them out. So that sedative would wear off. It would be necessary for us to re-administer that sedative. So we had a little anesthesia 101 class. Basically just said, stick it in their leg, preferably in the outside of their thigh, jab it through the wetsuit. And it doesn't matter if you hit the bone. The foreign affairs guys from Australia came up to me and said, look, in the, uh, in the interests of full disclosure, I just need to tell you that if something goes wrong um, during the rescue, it's not impossible that you could end up in the Thai judicial system. I said, well, you mean imprisonment? And he said, yeah, that's sort of worst case scenario and the rules here are pretty harsh. There was an extraction plan in place to put us in a van, drive us cross country on back roads to the embassy compound. So all very James Bond-esque. The monsoon had come early. The conditions in the cave were impossible. There was a very strong feeling that the children couldn't be still alive. We need expert cave divers out here. The Thai Navy SEALs put everything they had into it, but only this group of people who do it as a weekend hobby has those skills. I was thinking this, this has actually got our name all over it. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Trying to wriggle through holes that I couldn't wriggle through, finding a bigger space, sliding through, and then repeating again and again. Finding the boys was the easy part. They didn't have a clue how to get those kids up. Panic is death in the cave. My mind was on overdrive. Oh my god, am I going to be good enough? If they die, it's going to tear me apart. If you don't die, everyone will die. Believe. Believe. The As they were eating, both John and I felt the air was starting to feel a little bit stale. I think it's recording. The effort of climbing the slope, the panting that was required. It takes. So I turned the oxygen monitor on and it immediately went into full alarm and registered 15%. For the oxygen, anything under 18% is not sustainable with life in the long term. I couldn't look the children in their eyes. 